And our topic today is the power set. and cardinality. So the power set and cardinality are the two vocabulary words that we need to understand and be able to answer today. All right, the power set. So, the power set is the set of all subsets for a given set. A. So, let's define in terms of a set as being set A. So the, set, the power set is every subset possible for a set. Should be noted, the null set is a subset of every set. Now, notation. So I can ask you for the power set explicitly. P with an A means the power set of A. P of B would be the power set of B. So if, if, I, if I ask you to find P of A, and we're talking about set theory, of course, then P, capital P of A is referring to the power set of A. We'll talk about how to find them very briefly. But there's also a new, another one. Um, I can say two to the A is the power set of A. And we'll talk about why that two to the A is very important. Or, well, actually, I'll talk about it now. P of A is the same thing as 2 to the A, and the reason is because 2 raised to the number of elements in A is equal to the number of elements in the power set. And actually that's, we, when we talk about the number of elements, that's also referred to as the, the cardinality, but we'll get to the cardinality very shortly. So, Let's take a quick example. Shouldn't be too long of a lesson today. Let's define A as the set. Um, and remember, sets can be numbers, they can be letters, or they can be words. What type of set do you want to work with? You ask me. Anybody? What is? What do you want? Numbers. Numbers. All right. So give me give me some numbers. Don't go too many. Give me. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with three numbers. Two, three, and five. Okay. So we have the set two, three, and five. So A, it's a set two, three, and five. All right. And we want to find P of A. Okay. So we want to find all possible sets that would be a subset. All right, so now there's going to be a lot of braces in here, okay? 
that's going to probably be the trickiest part. So there's going to be a lot of braces in here. Because each element is a set. Every element is a set. So what is my first set? What set do I know is always a subset of any set? What set is always part of the power set? The power set is all subsets. Which subset, which set is always a subset of every set? The null set. The null set. So the first set that I should always write when trying to find out the power set. Every time, no matter what the set looks like, the first set should be the subset like that. Okay. Now, let's find all of the sets of one element. So can you tell me all of the sets of one element? So give me, give me a set that has one element that is a subset of A. Um, one, two, and four. One, two, and four are not part of, of A. Give me a, a. Give me a set that has one element that has a set of A. Two. Two. Two is a subset. Okay. Give me another set with one element. Three. Give me another set with one element. Five. All right. Now let's find all of the sets with two elements. Can you give me a set that has two elements? I'm going to change the color on this one right here just to, to help us visually see this a little better. And I'm going to change the color now. All right, let's find all those sets with two elements now. So can, can you give me any number? It, well, it has to be, remember, they have to be um, part of A. They have to be part of A. So can you give me a set that has two elements? Two and five. Two and five. So two comma five. That is a set. Perfect. Give me another one. Three and five. Three and five. Good. Give me another one. Two and three. Two and three. Are there any more? No. No. And finally, give me a set that has, remember, any the set itself is a subset. So the first set that you should have should always be the null set. And the last set you have should be the original set. So give me a set of three elements that is a subset of A. Two, three, and five. And that is the power set. So that's what we define as a, a power set, okay? Now, the furthest we're gonna go is a set of four elements, okay? The, the biggest one we're gonna go is, a, is, is, a, is four elements um, inside of a set. So you do have a homework problem. The hardest one in your homework will pop. Now, I actually, one of your homework problems has a set of three. I think I use letters. So basically, instead of two, three, and five on your homework, I believe it's A, B, and C. So basically, you would just replace all the twos with A, all the threes with B, and all the fives with C, and you would get the right answer. But of course, try to identify it.
So I want to make sure you note um, how many sets there actually are, okay? Now, how many elements in a set, all right? So you, you, you know in, in stat, in something that you should realize in stat, in set theory is that there's always a simple no, uh, notation to, to write long words and sentences, all right? So if I asked you to write out all the sets, all the subsets of a set, that's a long, that's a long question. That's a lot to write. So we literally can just do P of A, find P of A. That's finding all the sets or find the power set, right? Find all the subsets of a set. Quick in there. So if I want to say how many um, in a set, it should be a little in a, in a set. Um, and let's say in a set A, uh, how many elements in set A? That's the question. Okay. Now that's a lot. So can you can you give me the answer to this question? How many elements are in set A? There's three. There's three elements, right? Two, three, and five. There's three elements. So this is what we refer to as, we say therefore the cardinality of A is three. So cardinality is how many elements? So when I ask you for the cardinality, I'm asking you for how many elements, all right? How many elements in set A? There's three. The card therefore, the cardinality of A is three. Therefore, and here's our notation, it's kind of like the absolute value, okay? But it's not really absolute value, it's cardinality. is three. So these these absolute value signs refer to the cardinality, the number of elements. All right. So, quick question, what is the cardinality of the power set? How many elements are in the power set for A? One. No. Zero. You're, you're, you're telling me that that's only that's only one set right here? There's only one? Or there's zero for A? Uh, I think we're thinking about the first one. About the power set of A. Oh. So how, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. So the answer is eight, but we have another way of writing this. This is the same thing as two to the cardinality of A, two to the A, two to the number of elements in A. That's also why the notation is as such, all right? So also note that I could have asked, I could have stated this as as this, because two to the A also is a notation that we would say is the power set of A. And so I get, two to the third power, which is eight. So if there's four elements, what what is the cardinality of the power set? How many elements are in the power set? If there were four elements in my original set.
if there was four elements in my original set, how many elements will be in my power set? 16. 16. Two to the fourth. Okay. Let's do one last example. We'll define set B as being um, Asia. I'm just looking at the first three names. Eileen. Asian Island. Okay. Find the power set of B. So the power set of B would be what? First, you know, coordinate. What is the first subset that we should always write? The remember the power, it's I'm asking for the power set, the set of all subsets. No, the no, the no, the no set, no set. So, the first, the first set I have would be the no set always. And I know that the last set will be the set itself. So I know what the first set will be. The first set is always the null set, and the final set is always the same set. I just want to make sure you reference that. All right. And what are my other sets? So that's the set of zero. So that's the set of zero elements. This is the set of two elements. And so now I need to include the set of one element. So I need to find, I found all of the sets of no elements, which is the null set. Since there's two elements, I know the final, there's only one set of two elements in this case. So now I need to find all of the sets of one element. So what would that sets be? To the Asia and Eileen. Well, Asia, the set of Asia. Set of Asia. And then the set of Eileen. And that is my answer. How many elements are there? For four. So first off, what is the cardinality of B equal to? Uh, four. The cardinality of B. Uh, two, two, two. Of B. Here. Of B. Anybody else? Come on. What, how many? What is the cardinality of B? of the original set. Is it two? It's two. And to the question that was trying to be answered, what is the cardinality of the power set? It would be two to the two, which was four. So that's where you were getting the four from. You were answering about the power set. You were answering the cardinality of the power set. There is one, two, three, and four subsets of the main set. That's everything I have for you today. Your homework is based on these three types of questions, finding the power set, finding the cardinality of the original set, and finding the cardinality of the power set itself. You, uh, I will be here. Um, the rest of the class will be asynchronous so that you can complete the homework, um, ask questions. Um, it is posted on Google Classroom. Um, have a good rest of your day if you are done and feel comfortable with the material.